you guys are an Arnold fan and you're a fan of making gains, this is a video for you because we're gonna show you guys three tips that will really help you propel your gains forward. These are three training techniques that we've incorporated personally and we're gonna walk you guys through it as we hit our leg workout. Today we got some lighter five by fives to start off with the squat. So let's get right into that. So the giveaway winner for the last video is going to be somewhere on the screen right here. If you guys want to win one of these t-shirts, make sure to stay to the end of the video and you guys can find out how. Okay guys, tip number one is do some heavy weights with low reps. A lot of people have the misconception that when you're trying to build muscle, you always have to be in the 8 to 12 range. This 100% isn't true. Arnold didn't do this. We don't do that. And uh, so for here today, I'm doing three sets of three with some heavy weights. Josh is doing five sets of five. We're pushing ourselves. Just trying to get stronger and get bigger. So utilize this and you guys will make some gains. Next up guys, partial reps. Arnold loved partial reps. It's really cool because you're not just forcing your body to swing through. It's easy for anyone to complete a rep like that. But even let's say we take a bicep curl and we do a partial at halfway up, we give her a hold, then we finish the rep pulling through the bicep. Otherwise, you're using momentum in most of your movements. So this takes momentum straight out. So we're gonna do some sift leg deadlifts. Uh, Kyle's gonna decide if he wants to do the sift today or just a deadlift. These are advanced, so beware about that. But all in all, all we're gonna do is do a little bit of a hold, about two inches up, then we're gonna play with the heights as we do more sets. So we're just gonna get some good volume in. Arnold love volume. So we're gonna do about eight sets of these, which is pretty extreme, but we find they really fire up our hamstrings. So check this out. Give her a pause, bam. As you guys can see, when I come up, I gotta really engage my muscles, my hamstrings, my back, and rip through after that pause. It's challenging, I got no momentum here, it's not a clean movement. You learn how to recruit muscles, and when you're lifting 600 pounds, if I'm going for a PR, I'm getting stuck here, I'm gonna remember and I'm gonna learn, train those muscles how to rip through that. So this will help you play with heavier weights down the road. So I wanna make sure my form is absolutely tight so I'm going no plate underneath, so I'm gonna be doing it at a regular level. Also, this is kind of advanced because your back tends to wanna to round when you're doing fifth leg deadlift. So if this is you, then make sure just to first try it out with a regular conventional deadlift. Let's go. Watch it do it there. Side to side, throw my other hand. So after my first initial pull, I realized that a stiff leg deadlift with this weight, the weight Josh was using, wasn't gonna work for me. So I just decided to get a little bit more leg drive out of it, use my back a little bit more. So you gotta really listen to your body. Arnold was all about that. So make sure you're not trying to work with weights you can't handle. All right guys, we like quick, intense, high frequency, high volume leg sessions as you can see. So we did about five sets of squats for me, three with Kyle, about two, three sets of a warm up, eight sets of those, that was nasty, let me tell you. But uh, we don't push ourselves too hard rep range wise there, we just like to focus on speeds and quick rips, especially as far as powerlifting goes. Going on to here, this is all about building muscle. So we're gonna be doing quad extensions and hamstring curls, five sets a piece. And we're gonna incorporate some of Arnold's favorite philosophies, which are partial reps, rest pause, um, extended negatives, forced reps, all these fun things. So we're gonna show you what to do. Do. 
So obviously myself and Kyle are huge proprietors for good form and so is Arnold. Arnold was all about getting good mind muscle connection, good contractions and the best way to do that is actually knowing how to lengthen and contract the muscles safely. However, one thing he's also big on that's really helped me kind of grow over the years is four straps. So as you can see with Kyle's last set, he got his eight and then for his last two, lifted his butt, he cheated a little bit, but it got his reps down and he did in a way where he wasn't absolutely killing himself. So for instance, for biceps, you can lift a little bit, but if you're really torquing that back, that's how you're gonna yank it. So you have to be careful and you have to use this sparingly and intelligently. Okay guys, so for there, I just did some partial reps. Arnold was all about doing partial reps, really switching it up. We're all about powerlifting, but for these kind of accessory movements, we like doing a lot of these different types of sets. So you're gonna start seven at the bottom, you're doing half reps, seven at the top, half reps, and then you do seven full. It's an absolute burner and a great way to finish the workout. And a bonus tip number four, Arnold for calves was big about getting some honeys on his back and doing some calf raises. We don't have any here, so we're just gonna leave it right there. Crush that workout Arnold style, uh, but now we're also gonna eat Arnold style. We're gonna get some good food. Check this out. Oh, there it is. Thanks, boss. So guys, every video we're gonna to try to address a comment from Instagram. If you aren't following us there, make sure to do that. Uh, you can see on the bottom of the screen. Um, so every time we're just gonna pick one question and we were asked a lot about the progress with our experiment here. So as you guys know, I'm trying to do a body recomp. I'm cutting down to 205. I believe I got about six or seven more weeks in my mini cut. I'm at 209, so I'm getting real close. Four more pounds only. I'm doing it in a slow way. I'm trying not to cut calories too much. Try not to increase expenditure too far, but I'm just doing it very meticulously and intelligently. But uh, Kyle's definitely got a lot more to say because he's got the big boy bulk ahead of him. Let's see what he's got to say. So I've already in a couple weeks gained over six pounds. I'm a little bit over 180. I'm still feeling great, um, but it is very tough to be getting the adequate calories that I need to actually put on the size required for this dirty bulk to get me to 200. So one thing I will say, it's very hard to always be eating completely healthy. Obviously this is a dirty bulk, but my main goal every day is to hit my micronutrients, eat somewhat healthy, get my protein um, target out of the way, and then just kind of fill it up with some donuts and stuff. So you guys will see on Snapchat and stuff like that, I'll post a little bit more of dirty foods, but that's what this dirty bulk is all about. If I'm going for five or 6,000 calories, which I'm about to be doing soon, it just can't always be healthy. So that's where I'm at. I'm loving the way I feel. I'm not sluggish or anything, but road to 200, baby. Let's get it. And as you guys saw at the start of the video, we choose someone to win a free t-shirt. So right now, it's gonna be on the screen. Comment the number, the time, plus gang, and you guys can win a t-shirt. You guys can uh, join us next video to see if you guys won. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.